Are you guys excited to see Kidman Modern Cram Library and also dual ended markers? They're so cute. And inside of the Cram Library, let me show you real fast right here. So I'm Jenny from Jenny's Cram Collection. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies, both old and new for whatever project you're doing. So hit that subscribe button below and let's get this started today. Here we have washable double pointed markers. Let's open up the box. how pretty those are first of course what we're gonna do is we are gonna arrange these in color order isn't that what we always do okay if you hear a little person in the background that's my daughter all right almost there so pretty so first off we'll look at these markers we have a name and then we have a thin tip and a thick tip right here so let's push these to the side real fast so we can write this one is called flamingo and we'll do a little swatch for you And then this side is also flamingo, but it's a little thicker. See how it's a little bit thicker? These would be really good for like planners and stuff. Or detail flamingo for detail work. I'd probably use it in a planner because I love those kind of tips for planners. This one's called cherry. Is that the right side? Yep. This just seems a little thicker. We have Clementine. Very pretty orange. Super pretty. Next, we have honeydew. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't seem to be as easy to put down. That one was super thick. This one was not as thick. It's still really pretty colors. This one is called mustard. Okay. This one is called sunshine. Right, we have now we have a crocodile. Okay. This one is <laughs> Jade. All right, 
Next we have turquoise. Next we have Sky. All right, next we have Cobalt. also have some really cool crayons that I did a blog post that you can check out. I'll leave that in the links below. They're like gem crayons. They're shaped like gems and they also have ones that are shaped uh, like rocks. They have confetti crayons. They might have more markers in this, but this is what they actually sent me these. I was so excited because I, they are really pretty. You can see the colors are super vibrant. They would be a great set to do some adult coloring with or some journaling or some kid coloring with. All, of, all around good markers. I like the thin and the thick tip ideas and all in the same marker. We have bark. And then this one is Riverstone. And you can see after they dry, they look pretty good. Those are all of the markers. Next we'll do the crayons. Look how nice that looks. So pretty. I wanted to say something about the tip of these markers. You can see they have six sides. Isn't that cool? So they all fit together pretty nicely in here. I know these are not in color order, but look at how nicely they fit together with all their little grooves. Next, we have the crayon library. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out section by section, just kind of guess. And they're not, you can see they don't have names on them, which is the drawback to their crayons. I like crayons with names on them, as you guys know. <laughs> but let's see how they color. So I'm just gonna call this like one or something, okay? And then we'll do Kid Made Modern, which is what they are. And we'll do a little swatch. Ooh, I like the lay down characteristics. They're smooth, they're not really flaky, which is nice. Okay. All right.
have no idea what colors go in which order. That one looks like a fluorescent one. Pretty. Super pretty, I like that color. Another fluorescent one. So, so far what I'm noticing is there's some very distinct colors in here, which is nice. Lay down is super nice. Very smooth, look at how smooth that is. Not a lot of flaking or rubbing off right there. How pretty are those? Okay, come back. We'll get started on the next set. almost yellow. Not quite what the color <laughs> wrapper or the crayon looks like, which is interesting when the actual crayon is that much different than what the lay down is. Usually it's very similar. See that one's very similar to what the crayon looks like, but the other one, it was like, are you sure that that one's that color? Do fifteen. Another very yellow crayon. You can see that one's a little bit more orange. So we can do fifteen, 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 and fifteen will be good. Okay, so we'll do sixteen up here. That one's more orange. <laughs> What you could do is you could label these crayons with the number that you give it and just keep this sheet in with the crayons. So you would always know what those numbers are. That one's definitely a yellow. Another lighter peller yellow. Oh, another fluorescent. I wonder how close those two are. Those are the only two colors so far that look similar, but that one looks a little brighter than that other one. So interesting. You wouldn't know by looking at the crayon that it was this bright of yellow. next one. Oh, so we're back to oranges. Interesting how they're... Or should we go on to greens? Maybe we'll go on to greens and we'll kind of save those for the last part. Okay. 21. Yeah, that's close to that. I like that one.
So they're just all slightly different, which I love, especially when you have these crayons. These are similar but different. This one's a little bit lighter than that one. He's got some more greens. <laughs> I guess I could resort these according to what I feel it should be like. All right. Got some blues coming in here. Okay, 31. Okay. Oh, we still have greens. Oh, that's the one I just did. Oops. Oh no, sorry, that one is not the one I just did. I was trying to put it back in there. Okay, so confusing. Like, it's blue, right? It's blue. There's probably a blue violet. Okay, that is not blue violet. That is a blue. That one almost looks purple to me interesting seriously look at that does that look like that color <laughs> oh, that is so interesting how it comes out like that 34 so yeah i would definitely label these because you don't know what they are Thirty-seven. Very pretty. Then we get to four. And then we start the other. I'm very impressed with this color palette. This would make these would be super fun for anyone to color with so far. <laughs> All right, should we go greens or brown? If I was going to do this again, I would definitely resort these, <laughs> put them more in an order that makes sense to me. <laughs> Kind of left it the way they gave it to me from the factory. Um, two. barely see that one but I'm glad you can see these most of them because I had uh, I did some crayons a video the Andy Warhol ones and you couldn't see like half of them and I was like why would anyone pay money for these There's, but no you should pay money for these ones because these are great and I'll leave a link below so you guys can get those off of like Amazon Or Blick, I can't, I don't know which one carries them, so I'll figure out which, which one has a good price. 48. Very pretty colors. we do now I'm like I have no clue go to the browns go to the greens 51 yeah that kind of looks brown <laughs> oh I put it back I'm 
not supposed to put them back when I don't know what I use. Okay. Good thing they were easy to tell. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a blue hiding in here. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a little bit different than that one. That does not look like that color. Oh boy. So interesting. Well, we have a white, which you can't see, but it works really good if you're like coloring with anything or if you want to color this first and then color on top of it. It's pretty neat. What did you guys think? Do you like these crayons and these markers? Which ones were your favorite? Crayons or markers and what colors? I think my favorite colors, I like this cobalt here. And the turquoises are pretty nice. And on these, there are so many cool colors. I can't choose. Definitely the ones that surprise me are super fun. These like pinks. I can see a difference, definitely. Uh, these yellows are super cute. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like this video. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.